So this is the MacBook Pro 2012 Retina. As you can see, this is how it looks. Yeah. It comes with a screen size of 15 inches screen. Uh, let's have a look at the exterior of it. So we have these ports here. This is the charging port. We have these. Uh, can have a look. These are micro HDMI ports. You have USB port here. We have the audio port here. See how slim it is. You can't imagine this is a MacBook 2012 uh, machine as slim as the recent MacBook M2 or MacBook Pro M2 laptops. So this is a very slim machine. On this side, you have the, the normal HDMI port here. We have the SSD or memory card slot here, flash reader from the cameras and other stuff. We have another USB port here. This is how it looks. On this side, we have some very good ventilation here. These are ventilation ports for the cooling. Yeah, these are the fans exhaust the heat outside the machine, from the machine. And uh, that's how the bottom part is. Yeah, so as you can see, let me just bring a clear view. Yeah, MacBook Pro. So this machine is as slim as the recent MacBook generations. And one thing I love about this machine is what is on the inside. Just from the screen, from the display, from the processor. It's just amazing. Yeah. So it comes with a keyboard protector. This is a protector that protects the keyboard from wearing out and other stuff. So on this video, I just have to remove it and uh, I'll do the video without it. So let's power it on to see the internal specs and what it holds. Yes. So let's see how fast it powers on. Right there. It only took a uh, few seconds uh, to get it turned on. Not even 10 seconds, not even 5 seconds. I think it was 3 seconds, yeah? So let me just press another thing. Uh -huh. Let's give it some time to load. You know one thing with MacBook is that uh, sometimes it do take a few minutes to load because I find in most of the cases you've enabled the setting to restore your previous uh, tabs. So let's say if you are you're working on a project or maybe on Chrome or something else and when you're shutting down the machine you are not done with those, what we're doing. So when it turns on, even after completely powering it off, it, ha it will have to open the applications and then you find them from where you left them or resume your work from where you left it. So that's how it is. And then inside you can see the way the screen is so glossy and colorful yeah, and so accurate in terms of colors. I forgot to show you the keyboard. So these are the keyboard looks. Yeah, you can have a look at the keyboard. We have speakers here, on this side you have speakers, on this side you have speakers. So it means that when you're working with the machine, you'll get clear sound because the, the speakers are now facing you. Let me just turn this off, close this tab, show you some stuff. So system properties for this one, let's get to the system properties. On a MacBook, if you want to see the system properties, come to this uh, top left corner where you have this icon for Apple click on it Let me just click on it there and then you come to about this mark just right here so you can see so you can have a look at it it runs on Mac OS Catalina yeah let me just clear it out. MacBook Pro at Retina, you see? It's mid-2012. Processor is 2.3 gigahertz. A very nice processor. It's a quad-core processor, i7. 8 GB of RAM, which is expandable. And that 8 GB is sold on the motherboard of this machine. So, remember it also comes with an NVIDIA GeForce uh, dedicated graphic of 1 GB. Intel HD graphics of 1.5 GB can see 
and uh, right here display you can see how the display is yeah a very good display 15.4 inch nvidia geforce 28 by 1800 that's a high resolution display the storage is 256 you can see there is 251 gb but 256 gb ssd and uh the other stuff doesn't include itself so this is a machine that can handle pretty much of your day-to-day -day task remember it also comes with a very good battery there are no machines that have as good batteries as macbook machines yeah so with this one the battery uh, follows the leads just like the predecessor just like the most recent ones it comes with a very good battery a perfect battery so you can see how the keyboard is the screen one thing or one disadvantage <coughs> sorry one disadvantage the macbook is that they don't come with the they don't have touch screen but uh that's something they say that uh, it was not in their plans or it was not something that they're focusing on so they didn't design them with touch screen but they ensure the screen are very good in terms of brightness coloring and everything so production wise it will be as effective as you want them to be uh, there's no much thing i'll show you about the macbook because it speaks for itself yeah uh oh, there's something i did show you when it's on you have that nice uh apple logo glowing at the back yeah so classy you can see how slim it is very slim the hinges are as good as the 10 for uh, the lightbook foliage one very strong hinges in fact there are no machines with stronger hinges than macbook that one uh, i can assure you because i've reviewed so many of them and i've never come across a machine with a stronger hinge than a macbook maybe it's because the body is metallic so they're no easy to break yeah but the hinges are so good so that is it can have a final look at the exterior so if you are interested in such a machine and you found this video so helpful don't forget to leave a like on the comment section i also expect you to maybe give out your feedback on some of the things that i missed out and i didn't explain further about them and also leave a comment on the machine that you'll want me to review next or maybe just expound on it see you next time on another video don't forget to like follow and share as usual have a nice time see you on another video same place different time goodbye